Hey everyone, Wanderpot here, and welcome to Bridge Constructor Portal. Uh, it came out a couple days ago, and I'd send an email off to the, the PR guy. And apparently they didn't realize that I was, like, um... Huh, that's actually kind of nice. Uh... Shell just turned off the lights, and now I've got this kind of nice mood lighting going on. Which is actually really pleasant on the eyes. I'm not a big person for bright rooms. Which makes this game kind of bright. Anyway! Uh, so the PR guy forgot I existed. I guess somehow I was on the mailing list, but I was invisible there. So he's like, are you one of those scam email people? And I'm like, no, I'm just Wanderbot. Now let's make some bridges. So is this made by Valve? No, I think this is sanctioned by, by Valve. Uh, I, I think the bridge constructor people are like, hey, can we make like a, a portal themed bridge constructor game? And Valve's like, sure, why not? Uh, we'll get money from it, whether or not we, we get a cut or whether or not we say yes. Anyway, so, so you want to be reassigned as Chief Custodian for the Aperture Science Vehicular Hurdling Initiative? Uh, is there any other position available? Yes, Incinerator Inspector, and you start today! So you want to, is it the same thing or is it a, yep, no, wow, we are just actually killing people. The Gladys voicing is done by Valve, I believe. That's neat! Okay, anyway, let's let's go with, uh, third try is the charm. That's the spirit. We admire your principles, so long as they're ours. Wow. I'm required by protocol to condu conduct an interview with you. It'll contain one question. Are you ready? Hold on, what's the question going to be? The question, wait, are you trying to be funny? Well, here's a funny question for you. Will a body fall slower through f through warm air? Try it out and send me a smoke signal. I'm just going to be mildly contrarian here. Just to see how many different things result in death. And the answer is all of them. <laughs> We're getting RIPs for every time I kill one of these people. Wow. Suit yourself. Now tell me, what would you do if life gave you lemons? I'd make lemonade. Good thinking. That'd be refreshing for your tour of the incinerator. Wow. Alright. Sure. I'm just going to murder a bunch of people. Why not? Okay, anyway. What would you do if life gave you lemons? I'd make life take the lemons back. Any Johnsons in your family tree? That's the kind of chief custodian attitude we need. Now get to your desk and make us proud. I should probably actually play through the Portal games at some point. Last time I suggested that, people got mad at me though, because apparently everybody and their mother has played Portal and nobody wants to see it again. Which I guess is fair. Don't get too cozy reading construction magazines, it's time to get started. Enrichment Center regulations require that all trainees pass a battery of custodial proficiency tests. Don't worry, we'll be securely withholding your paychecks during this probationary period. It's really loud. Um, I can't do much about that for a bit. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. This is a series of- this series of test chambers will test your construction and deduction skills. Are you ready to earn your golden chief custodian hat? Alright. Uh, click to start. My first bridge. Hello, and welcome back to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. According to internal provisions, all applicants must complete this test series for testing series tests. Before we start, however, please note that serious injuries may occur. The Enrichment Center is proud to announce that your family will be notified in the event of a work fatality with no additional garnishment to your wages. Your first task is to build a bridge so that a test vehicle can reach the test chamber exit. First we need to remove the useless assembly left by your predecessor, and we don't mean their family. Okay, double click to remove it. Uh, can I go into my settings? I can't. Alright. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can go into my settings, so GLaDOS might be a little bit quiet, initially. We'll- we'll figure this out. Audio balance is hard. So anyway, let's get rid of all this guff. We don't need it. Excellent. Your ability to destroy without question is quite impressive. Next, we will supplant a new construction using Aperture Science Convertible Scaffold Planks.
All right, so this is pretty much Poly Bridge. The bridge still requires a roadway for the test vehicle to drive on. Fortunately, each Aperture Science convertible scaffold plank can be converted into a roadway and vice versa at any time. So just left click on it to convert to road. Very good. Let a test vehicle run over your bridge to test it. <laughs> oh, I love the little people. They're great. All right, uh, let's see. Can I call it a day for a second? I'm gonna see if I can mess with the options now that we're here. Okay, here we go. So voices up. I'm gonna turn the rest of this down. I actually wanna hear, uh, I'm gonna turn GLaDOS up a little bit. She's loud enough. I, I can't hear her very well. I, I'm turning it up a bit. She should be about as loud as I am. So I think this should be fine. Let's see, is there anything else I want to do? The answer is no. Well, let's go back to play. Should be fine. Okay, sloops. Welcome to test chamber two. To overcome obstacles, you will often need to construct your bridge uphill or downhill. This roadway leads uphill, but is not suitable for vehicles. However, instead of destroying these components, we will modify their location. Okay, hold on a yellow hinge until moving mode is activated. Okay. Very good. Now build the supports underneath. Excellent. The first bridge is ready. Now we will construct a vehicle ramp for hurdling to the exit. Uh, is it letting me? It's not letting me actually build anything. Oh, weird. So GLaDOS is loud now? Is she too loud? She sounds fine to me, but maybe my audio settings are, are messed up. Okay, we're sorry to uh, interrupt. This is a menu. This is how we access that. Okay, cool. Drive. And they actually live. I would have expected they'd just go straight in. All right. Test test vehicles, one out of six marginal. Oh, I see, I've got to do convoy. Okay, so she's a bit loud compared to me. Well, I can fix that pretty easily. Yeah, unfortunately, just uh, getting audio settings to work properly always takes a little bit of effort. Uh, Because every game is slightly different. Okay, so let's uh, let's go back to build for a moment. We do, I guess I got to do next level. Can I like quit out? Oh, no. Please observe this test chamber layout and note that it is impossible for the vehicle to reach its destination. For this task, the test chamber will be enhanced with an aperture science quantum tunnel or more commonly called a portal. The portal will open in three, two, one. Any vehicle that enters one side of the portal will instantly exit from the other side at the same speed. Your rapid progress has demonstrated that even the simplest employees can doodle a bridge, while our expert drivers handle the complex physics of navigating through portals. Okay. Very good. Testing procedure requires that this test will not allow supporting the bridge from below. However, we can use the construction attachment points above to suspend the bridge with Aperture Science Multipurpose Super Cables. Multi-purpose super cables consist of tightly rolled shower curtains and can be stretched over long distances. Tightly rolled shower curtains. Perfect. Now send the vehicle through the portal. Don't worry. These intradimensional gates have been proven completely safe for custodial staff. Okay. Nope. Yeah, we're still stuck in tutorial mode. 
Well, these poor schmucks are going to die. <laughs> Please note, to protect valuable testing apparatus, vehicle drivers are not permitted to make contact with the deadly fluid on the chamber floor. Your employee photo will be provided in the vehicle driver's cause of death form in the event of your failure. Oh. That's horrifying. Okay, let's save my construction slot one. Let's go back out to the main menu. I'll turn GLaDOS down a little bit, seeing as people are saying she is too loud. I just want to make sure she is audible over me, because we just got a bunch of achievement progress. I kind of want to turn that off, actually. Oh well. Anyway, let's play. Could have built the second bridge before starting the driving simulation. Could I have? I have no idea. I should probably oh. hit the record button. Okay, there we go. Uh, so we're back here. I'm gonna try and make this place uh, safe and livable. It doesn't look like there's any uh, any limitations here, so I'm just gonna build whatever. Uh, drive. This time they won't die. Oh, they will. I forgot you actually have to convert these to you have to convert these to roads, otherwise they die. There we go. Okay, now I think we've got everything balanced. These people don't die, and perfect. All right, let's send a convoy. Let's see. Let's see if uh, my my awful bridge is capable of surviving this, or if I need to figure out how to get some more. It's like it's buckling a little bit, but now it's all good. All right. I don't know if I'm actually scored on these. Multiple pairs of portals can exist at the same time. One of them is leading to a deadly laser field. It appears red to discourage casual contact. I am registering an increased heart rate and galvanic skin response, obviously due to the fact that you are not able to tell which portal will lead the vehicles into the lethal deadlock. To compensate for your lack of clairvoyant abilities, we will alter the portal spectral radiance. From now on, interlinked portals will always have matching colors. Okay, so we have... We want to get them out red. So yellow is a red herring. Whoops. Move that there. Move that down. Okay, life is good. It doesn't look like I'm limited on resources. Which kind of surprises me. I was expecting something a little bit more... Limited. But I guess this isn't so bad. We're probably going to have to redo this, though. As we find out that... I've either... Wasted resources. Oh, we do have a limited amount of money up there. Or, no, we're just scored based on how much... How much money. Alright. Uh, let's see. I don't think this is gonna work. I don't think they're going fast enough. No, they are going fast enough. Alright, we're good. Let's see, that poly bridge paid off. I guess, yeah. I mean, it it seems like in this one, I'm not limited in money. Um, it, I'm just, it's like a secondary score meter. Like how, how little, yeah. You wastefully spent 21,000. I could over construct if I really wanted to, and it wouldn't actually uh, screw me over. I like that actually, I like that a lot. I liked poly bridge, but I wanted infinite resources. Um, and just to be scored poorly for it, so I can make really stupid bridges that still technically work. We'll mess with that later. This test chamber only has construction attachment points at the start and end of the roadway. In such cases, the bridges must be self-supporting, with arch scaffolds placed in a triangular formation. We provided two bridges as structural reference. It should be a simple matter of copying this design to bridge the remaining gaps. Yeah, so once we get out of tutorial land, I will be, I think, a little bit more 
over designy of everything. I really like the guide points that it shows you that things can connect. Like, this really does feel like um, Polybridge Plus. I liked Polybridge. It was uh, it was perfectly serviceable as far as uh, gameplay went. Uh, it just felt a little bit... Um, maybe imprecise at times? Would be the proper word? I don't really know how to describe it, but... Uh, oh. Right. I've got to actually convert these to roads. I'm going to kill people because of that. I just, I know that already. It buckles a little bit. Going convoy is going to worry me. Oh well. Let's send a convoy through anyway and see what happens. I... Eh, might hold. Yeah, you can see, you can see the stress points in each one of these locations. It looks like this convoy is a little bit more spread out than some of the other ones we've run into. But that's okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm really liking this so far. Hopefully I can put portals down on surfaces myself at some point, because that would be magic. Please note the closed door before the exit. At least one vehicle must press the blue Aperture Science One Touch Super button to open the door to the exit. Vehicle pads may cross when there are several portal pairs. But please don't panic as this may distract the drivers. To compensate for a broad range of applicant ability, the Enrichment Center is required to provide all applicants, especially you, with useful advice. The advice for this test chamber is as follows. Build a near initial slice of the ash that you for exit. Very simple. <laughs> oh, I miss GLaDOS. I, I actually... I would absolutely love it if Valve just started outsourcing their games, because Valve isn't making games anymore, really. I, they make a couple, but, like, it would be nice if they just started making Portal games for, or, like, just letting other people make Portal games. I guess they already kind of do that. But, like, I've missed this. I, I've actually missed the, um, the dialogue from GLaDOS being bonkers. Okay. Now, my inevitable question is, can I over-design a awful, awful bridge... that somehow catches the cars. And uh, turns them around. My bet is no. But who knows? I, I'm probably going to fail a number of times here. Can I, can I connect these? I was really hoping I could connect these. Because that would be, well, helpful. Okay, let's drive. Oh, wait, no, let's build. I've got to actually put roads on this. I don't really know what this is going to do. He's probably just going to crash right through. He certainly won't turn around. Huh. Yeah, so I'm going to have to turn around with, uh, with portals. Okay, is there... I guess I could just hit the undo button a bunch, bunch of times. I was really hoping I could actually make them, like, do, do like, a loop-de-loop. -loop, uh, and, like, go, bop, and then, like, get them to turn around, hit that, and just, just repeat. But no, I gotta think with portals. Which also means I actually have to make them, um, fly, or at least drop or something here. Well, I mean, the easy, easy thing is, uh... I mean, this is... This is crazy pants easy. Looks ugly. Uh, let's see. Can I... Yes. But that'll probably work. It looks pretty bad, though. Oop. Maybe not. Yeah, no. Okay, so we need... We need uh, some more structural stability here, which means wires. 
Okay, that should be maybe enough. Yeah, I don't know if I can brace stuff like I used to. I, what? Oh! Did I? I converted that into a road at some point. Funky. Didn't even intend for that to happen. Okay, let's try this. Yeah, they're kind of clipped through each other. What? Huh. Okay. So, we did this wrong. Sword... Sword... Okay. This is weird. So it actually wants me to go here. Let's just do a test drive. Yeah, so we have to... More or less catch them on the other side. That's... Odd. <laughs> oh, man. This is... This is interesting. I like it. I I enjoyed Polybridge when I played it. Kind of wish I had actually gone back to finish it, but... Uh, this is kind of fine. Problem is, I'm not entirely sure if... Uh, I'm not entirely sure if this is going to be kosher. This certainly... This certainly isn't. And more wires. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I just have to have... I just have to have bars that they don't move through. I can freely do whatever I want there. Okay. Now this is over-designed and probably going to fail in instantly, but that's okay. Polybridge after this if I want. I could. Oh. Well, that was stable. Unfortunately, he dies. Okay, so that was actually a lot more stable than I thought it was going to be. Like, it more or less impacted and just nothing. I was really expecting, you know, failure, death. Failure and death. Bit of both, really. Now, of course, I've got to make this stable for both sides. Oh. Because I think this is probably going to crash and burn on me. Uh oh Luckily, connecting stuff is a lot easier here. Uh, easiest option is... Probably just connecting the two. If it's got the vertical support from one, it'll probably work better. This actually functions quite quite well. Uh, let's see, and there we go. All right, let's try that again. Let's see, square dots don't need supports. Uh. You're right. That's, uh, honestly a, a bad habit from Polybridge. Like, the physics between one and the other have... Wait. Oh, right. The physics between one and the other have, have changed. For the better, I think? I'm trying to think. There's no more connection points here. I really just gotta figure out how to make the landing a little bit more stable. Do that. I don't actually know if this is gonna work. Can I? Yeah, no, that that won't work. Cause yeah, it would it it shook up just a little bit for this convoy. Well, let's find out. I'm lucky that Aperture Science has no concept of conserving money. 
I am kind of really glad that these guys aren't going to just womp into each other while airborne. That would be unfortunate. But yeah, they're only hitting that one bridge occasionally, so we're all good. How long is this convoy? Ten? Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm floored that the top area is just totally rock solid. I really was expecting that to actually be the first failure point. I didn't really even look at the bottom one. <laughs> OSHA would have a field day with this game. Actually, I wonder what, like, people that actually work at OSHA uh, do for fun. Like, would they find this game enjoyable or worrying? Remember that vehicles will maintain their speed when driving through a portal. As you can see, it will need a lot of speed to hurdle the middle wall. The Enrichment Center would like to remind you that the entire vehicle must reach the exit to earn a positive mark on your testing record. For other critical testing anecdotes, please refer to the Library of Best Practices, which is now available to you effective immediately. Let's see, Best Practices. Triangles, so this is just, like, good tips. Interesting, sister supporting struts. These are actually kind of helpful. I'm never actually going to look at them. I'm just going to make horror over-designed monsters. And that will just be the game. Will it be good? No. Will it be... me? Yes. Okay. Test. Does test work? All right, whatever. I just oh right, I gotta I gotta convert that into a road there. So how far does he go before he fails? Wasn't really paying attention. I'm really I know exactly what I need to do. More or less, just connect to this point. And then make it stable. Which is... Maybe... Uh, maybe not so functional. We'll see. That's... This feels awkward. Oh. Well, that works. A little over-designed, but that's okay. Well, over-designed, poorly designed, every every one of those. And more. Now this is probably gonna crumble. It also doesn't have any roads. That... I mean, that that's... That's a problem. Can't really drive if you don't have a road. This is going to... This is gonna... Eh, I don't know. It might be okay. Really depends on where they hit. Nope, rock solid. Yeah, I keep expecting this to crash, but I think I think part of it is uh Polybridge had much less durable materials. This is just like actual like functional steel girders ish. I guess Poly uh, Polybridge also existed with uh with scarcity. It often only gave you like one part or like a couple. This is uh a lot uh high. 